Last night I had the worst night ever. And I went to sleep about uh, 11, 10.30, 11 o'clock. But then all of a sudden I wake up at 11.30 and I had some itchiness. I have like a, like a rush. Uh, so I go to the toilet to see what's going on. And on my inner thigh I had like a huge rush. And then I realized that I had a uh, food poisoning, intoxication. And I panicked for a moment because I know like for that I need to take an antihistaminic and I didn't have any more antihistaminic. So I rushed to my toilet bag and I tried looking around, tried to find a pill. And I found one last pill and I took that pill right away, but I wasn't sure if that's an antihistaminic or not. I waited for like half an hour. So I waited for like half an hour, tried to see how, if I will improve or not, no? But I started to feel, you know, every minute it was getting worse and worse. I had so much pain and a lot of itchiness. The rush was spreading and spreading all over my body. The last time that I had this, it was like three years ago. And I think it was because of the dinner last night. Either it was a fish or either the passion fruit juice, I don't know. I didn't want to disturb the owner of the guest house. I didn't want to wake him up late at night, but at some point I was like really desperate. So I went, knocked his door, actually around the bell, and then he came out and I explained him, I showed him my arm. My arm had like a big rush already. And he understood, okay, he went back inside and he came out with a, a pill, you know, another. Uh, a real antihistaminic, a good one, especially for urticaria. So I took it and I think at about 2.30 the itching stopped, but I still have the rush, but the itching stopped, so then I was able to sleep at that time. So it was pretty tough, a uh, very rough night. So today I woke up, I mean, I don't have any rush anymore. I, I'm pretty okay, but I do, I do feel, I have like a headache and I feel a little bit weak. Of course, I didn't sleep very well and tired and fatigued. I'm glad that I had that medicine. I was a little bit worried because there is nothing around here. You know, like there is, okay, I could go to Veligama, but in the middle of the night, I couldn't go anywhere. I mean, in here in Mirigama, in this beach, even during the season time, there is not much. Even now, off season, there is absolutely anything, so no chance to find a pharmacy or something like that. Anyway, now I'm okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, on my way to Gold, Fort Gold, because I want to go for lunch there and also again find a restaurant to upload my next my video that I've been working on, which is me taking me forever, but it's now ready. I just need to upload it. But first, before going there, I just want to show you a little bit around. As you can see, it's very green around here. And I want to show you my favorite spot here. You see this? Isn't it beautiful? Now it's time to go to time to go to go. here around two o'clock so now it's five o'clock in the afternoon and finally I finished the video and I was able to upload it in, on YouTube so you can find it there and tell me what you think so now I'm just thinking about what am I doing with this uh, channel it takes me so much time to to work on these vlogs to work on these blogs uh, and I feel it kind of deviates me from my path like I'm not studying so much while I'm doing these vlogs, I'm not reading, I'm not practicing. I do my practice in the morning of course, but you know, there's a lot of energy that goes into it. But I don't want to stop because I'm enjoying it, I actually want to keep doing it and I want to, I want to improve and I want to get better and better at it. But at the same time I find like, hey, what about this other stuff? No, I feel like I'm disconnected from, from what really matters to me. And also I'm thinking about contemplating about the message that I'm giving and the value that I'm providing. I'm struggling with that a little bit. I spend a lot of time trying to decide, okay, what am I gonna do with uh, this channel? Uh, 
what kind of content I want to create. And I have an idea of what I want to create. I want to do, besides sharing my journey, I want to talk about yoga retreats, I want to talk about ashrams, similar to what I've been doing with my blog. And I also want to, to write something that is inspiring and educative related to yoga. Of course, like what I wrote about in my blog before, like why you should have a spiritual journal or why sitting still doing nothing is more productive than you think. This kind of content, I want to also create this the same kind of video content. Something that is uh, valuable and that can help people. You know? I don't want my channel just to be uh, you know, just talking nonsense. Anyway, I think it's enough of video for today. Let me just finish this now and I'll see you in the next video.